What is the site right before us here? This site right here is based on our old ancient Hawaiian village. When I first got started in this project, it was to prepare ourselves for a journey. So my responsibility is as the chief of Maui to try to see if we can infuse these ideas by bringing the people together once again and looking at how important these sites are for future generations tomorrow. When Hawaii became a territory so-called of America, it took away the language. So it disabled the people to understand the true meaning on who they are. So Hawaiians say, kava ma mua, kava ma hope, that the future is in the past. So we have to look into the past on how our ancestors did it then to survive on an island. Hi, I'm Michael. Hi. Can I explain to you the proper protocol on greeting each other? It is called honi. Touching them off my forehead and your nose, making eye contact is a proper way in Polynesia. What is the site right before us here? This site right here is based on our old ancient Hawaiian village, which is made out of fish ponds, taro patches, shrines, makahiki grounds like the uh, Colosseum. And when was this site originally built? Oh, about the 1400. When I first got started in this project, it was to prepare ourselves for a, a journey. Nobody really had the opportunity to see what was behind the bushes. Because we had cactus that surrounded this property. We started from the fish pond, worked our way up. I opened it up about nine years ago. We've been doing the restoration. What's your role on this project? And I'm the mason for the restoration of the inside of the site. And this is a large site. I mean, it's got thousands of rocks in there, and you're hoping to pull these rocks together and rebuild the walls that once existed here? Playing off of the archaeological maps of whatever is revealed after moving all the vegetation, we're going to try our best to reconstruct what was already there. You're the chief of the Maui, and in that role, why is it important to come to another island and help on their restoration project? Because all these sites, once upon a time, was all connected to each other. So a lot of these historic sacred sites been disconnected. So my responsibility is as the chief of Maui to try to see if we can infuse these ideas by bringing the people together once again and looking at how important these sites are for future generations tomorrow. What are these right behind us? They're called ki'i, images of our gods, and it's faced in the directions of north, south, east, and west to kind of acknowledge where the sun rises and then the sun will set. What do you think as the head mason is going to be your first move here on this site? The site is sectioned off into different tasks. So our first task, we started measuring the walls just to see how much work we have just to do the first one. Most of the walls in the middle belong there. So all we have to do is set it up. We don't have to bring new material in to rebuild it. With enough stone here, you're able to reset it and it starts to look a little bit more like these walls. When Hawaii became a territory so-called of America, it took away the language. So it disabled the people to understand the true meaning on who they are. Well, you came here and it became a way for you to connect with your past and more broadly connect the community. The culture, if you don't have a past, you never have a future. But the future is in the present. So you can bring the past to the present and the present to the future. Because you united all three elements to become one. And that's what the culture is about. We as Hawaiians look at these things as iconic to making sure that it applies to our tradition, custom, religions, based upon what it was meant for in the past. So Hawaiians say, kava ma mua, kava ma hope, that the future is in the past. So we have to look into the past on how our ancestors did it then and how they survived. Today we're too dependent on the influxation of foods coming in and being imported into state. 
and we try to make the government to realize that we're a society that can survive within the middle of the ocean. Only now, today, everybody's starting to realize that we need to look at the past accomplishments and how it was to survive on an island. What do you want when people come here to experience and discover? When you come to Hawaii, everybody wants to be in Polynesia, paradise. What I want them to realize, I will try to bring back the past to what it was originally about. If you understand the past and you understand the future. So that is the most uh, more in common.